everyone! Today is a big day for all the Netflix comedy fans as the platform finally joins forces with one of the biggest comedians of all time, Rowan Atkinson. Just like many of you guys, our childhood was also completely occupied with the skits of Mr. Bean, a brilliant British man with the worst luck ever. He has been so popular that he is considered a national treasure in the UK with all those magnets with his pictures on them. Well, we're not surprised to see him cherished this much. To be honest, even though Atkinson is in his late 60s, we believe he is still very much energetic and would be great in producing yet another Mr. Bean movie. Until that time though, we decided to aim to get content with whatever Netflix presents us with. Thankfully, the platform decided to join the board alongside all the other Atkinson fans and produce a brand new comedy TV series with him. Now Netflix isn't exactly known for its humorous content. Now the platform has a lot of sitcoms and stand-up comedy specials. But when it comes to producing its own comedy TV shows, Netflix often falls flat and ends up with mediocre projects such as the Space Force. Thus, even though we were over to the moon to have a Netflix show with Atkinson as the lead, we were also worried that the show might ruin his reputation with its lack of quality and of course the much needed jokes. Fortunately, we were worried for no reason as the show ended up being perfect. It got released on the platform today, aka July 24, 2022, and we believe it's already a candidate to be the next big Netflix series. Now, in order to be immortal in a busy platform such as Netflix, you, as a TV show, need multiple banker seasons that will attract millions of viewers. Man vs. B managed to achieve half of this task with its first season. For the other half, the show needs to get a second season as soon as possible. In our opinion, if the audience reception continues to be as hyped as today, we're likely to get a new season of Man vs. B around May 2023. It may even be released earlier in the next year since the show's episodes are shorter than usual. The series tells the story of a man named Trevor, played by Atkinson. As a newly divorced father, Trevor is a good but lonely man and all he wants to do is to go on a holiday with his daughter, and yet he has no money or a proper job to prepare for such a trip. Thus, he decided to be a housekeeper at a beautiful home, which ends up triggering his obsession with bees. He becomes so obsessed with one bee that he cannot help but ruin everything while trying to catch it. It's a tragically comedic scenario really, with a pretty heartwarming ending that cherishes the father-daughter relationship. Regarding the show, Atkinson expressed the following in a recent interview. It's largely visual because it's just Trevor in the house with a bee and the bee doesn't talk. It's a very visual thing. I like playing him because he's genuinely sweet. He's genuinely a good-natured man. The real problem he has is his obsessiveness, he gets obsessed with a bee. According to Atkinson, the production process of the show was not the easiest for him. It was hard work because we were making it during COVID-19 and anyone who has tried to make a TV show in the last couple of years it's challenging and expensive. Someone who had been working with me got COVID in the middle of our shoots so couldn't shoot for two weeks. And then you're suddenly spending longer than a month. So if you want to shoot movies during COVID, you've got to have a lot of money. It's not a good time to make cheap, low-budget movies. We're thankful that he has been patient and went through all these so that we got the opportunity to watch him in a brilliant series on our favorite platform. In the second season, we expect the show to explore yet another obsession of Trevor, which would be so much fun. Did you enjoy Man vs. B? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.